And some of you in your life, the reason why you're not at your goal right now, because you just all about your feelings. You, you all on your feelings. You don't feel like waking up. So who does? I don't feel like working today. I, can I tell you something? Every day you say no to your dreams, you might be pushing your dreams back a whole six months, a whole year. That one single day, that one day you didn't get up could have pushed your stuff back I don't know how long. What does it take to be successful? Can I be real with you? <laughs> you can go to any bookstore and get the, what it takes to be successful. You can get that. You can go to any bookstore. Somebody wrote about it. The challenge is not what does it take. The challenge is do you have a heart to do what it tells you to do? Can you make the sacrifices? Listen to me very close. It, I guarantee you, you, there's probably a book called Success for Dummies that breaks it down real plain. But what makes a man get up at 3 o'clock in the morning versus a man that gets up just in time to go to work? It's not that the guy that has to be to work at 7 o'clock who gets up at 6.30 to be somewhere at 7. It's not that he doesn't know that if he gets up at 5 o'clock, he could probably be better. The problem is he don't have a heart to get up early. He don't have a discipline to get up early. It's not the knowledge that he lacks. It's the heart. But I can do this. Even if no one else sees it for me, I must see it for myself. That's necessary. The next step is, that is you. That is you, that no one can do it for you but you. And even though you face disappointments, even though you will experience some setbacks, it goes with the territory. You must understand that. It's not over until I win. What if we have that kind of attitude, the cars repossess, nobody believes in you, you've lost again and again and again, the lights are cut off, but you're still looking at your dream, reviewing it every day and say to yourself, it's not over until I win.